we could have potentially made our opponent tap out. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, it's a good deck. Number two, that's a lot of gold for Slash Royale. Let's go. This deck is nasty. Boom. If you have a troop like a Mega Knight and then you're counter pushing with the Hog Rider, if you run him on the outside, it's always going to push the Hog Rider around the Mega Knight, which helps bypass the building. What's going on, y'all? Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. As always, your boy is back into the Clash Royale video, guys. We're going to jump into the arena with probably, arguably, the most debated card inside of the game. All right, so many people use it. So many people are frustrated by this big boy Mega Knight. All right, it's obviously overused because it's easy to use all right destroy everything and counter push it is a counter pushing card so we're going to go ahead and jump into the arena with the hog rider mega knight it's a good combination a lot of people use it okay we're going to jump in with the tesla and we're still going to have the valkyrie because you want to kind of protect this if you have ice golem if you're better with quicker cycle decks you could throw throw in the ice golem because you have enough defense i'm going to play it this way because i feel like that's more beneficial we're going to call this arena seven royal arena all the way to serenity peak which i am in obviously with my level 10 account we're going to go ahead and rock the snowball recently buffed and it just it's a really good spell it's not as good as the log but it's still a really really good spell and we're going to rock the fireball fireball hog Rider is typically always a pair inside of any hog deck, guys. Let's jump into it. I want some more gold. Definitely want some more gold, all right? Okay, so let's see what our starting hand is. So this is a very, very good starting hand. All right, so we're going to go ahead and probably... Yep, yep. We're going to go in straight with uh, Mega Knight here. He anticipated like a gang or skeleton army or something like that. So he used six elixir to my seven. He did get tower damage. I think what we're probably going to want to do here is push ourselves... Now, typically, I wouldn't do it if he did it long. All right, so he's running that. He's running Tesla. But see, that's why you run the Hog Rider um, on the outside of the Mega Knight, because it'll push away from any building. So that worked out well for us. And he's not going to build. Look at all the damage we got. All right, so he's running. What is he running? He's running Valkyrie and Tesla. What do we have in this deck? Valkyrie and Tesla. That's what I'm trying to say, guys. This is why I'm pretty defensive. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to snowball this back. And now next time, so it slows him down, he gets just one hit, or, okay, whew. Um, he, she's getting some chip, right? And that's actually going to be pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to her. That was actually not bad, not bad. So we're going to go in with a baby dragon, actually, this time. Did we get one shot? Ooh, that would have been beneficial if we got one shot. We have Tesla now in cycle, so we should be okay for his Hog Rider. Uh, haven't even used Fireball yet. So we're going to go in with... So... Okay, we got Tesla now. I'm going to talk about... He might log. If he does, that would be an overcommitment. But Musketeer is going to go ahead and take all that stuff out. We should be good. In fact, I know that I'm going to be good because I'm going to go ahead... He's back to his Tesla, right? So I'm going to wait till I hit 4-ish. So I can have something for Fireball. And it almost did. So he's going to go Tesla. There it is. And he missed it again. Guys. He's got to go a little bit forward. That should be Tower. Boom. Let's go, guys. All right, so with this, he's not going to have enough for his... We just go in with this here. He's not going to have enough for his Hog Rider. He does, and then we're going to go ahead and snowball it back once again. And this is why I like it, because it slows it down. I mean, he's going to get some shots off with the Hog. Probably, that's one, that's two. I hope that's it. That's good for us. Now we have to do his defend, all right? So we'll go in with a Baby Dragon a little bit higher. And we have Mega Knight. We have so much defense right now, so it's, we're going to be good. Okay, so I'm going to go a little high with this crazy thing. Firecracker is super annoying. All right, she's going to shoot herself into the baby dragon. Perfect, right? And again, I'm going to go... I'll go with a Tesla here, and then we're going to go Mega Knight. With a boom, and that's just... That's not going to be enough. Okay, Earthquake. All right. Not bad. Hog EQ, you guys know, is a good deck as well. Now we can put some pressure on, right? Because he's going to have to use his Tesla. He should put it in the middle, but it doesn't matter. Because I'm going to do this. Probably. There you go. Guys, anticipation is also key to victory. And look, I'm going to snowball this. It really doesn't matter. I just got to get back to my Tesla. And he's not going to be able to do too much else. And now that he has Earthquake, if he did decide to run it, just run the Tesla high. That might still have been... Nope, it wasn't. Forget it. You guys know what I'm saying. Oh, GG's. All right, let's just jump back in. Ladies and gentlemen, jump back in. You guys know we're going to break this down as well. So let's see what our starting hand is. All right, so more defensive, okay? If he runs Hog Rider or something like that, we do have Valkyrie, a Baby Dragon. If anything, in, in this, I'm going to cycle the Baby Dragon in the back to try to bait something out. We have Fireball for any kind of swarm. He's taking a little bit of time. Okay, we're going to go in with this. And I am going to go in with this here. 
and then I'm going to relax. Okay, definitely going to relax here because I knew the Valkyrie probably would have went down. He might have got some E-Barb hits. So I didn't like that I had to spend that much Elixir. But when you do, that's when you can be patient. So we have Fireball for his um, Ice Wizard. I think mine's too low level to take it out, so that's going to hurt. We'll see. He's going to probably support this with something um, or not. So we're going to go in now. We're going to go in with this. And I might Snowball depending on what he has. Okay, his Inferno Tower. All right, so that's going to be a little bit harder to get through. Um... I guess the good thing for us is that we have two cards that could punish if we can outside okay don't like that so we're gonna have to bring her in i think that's the right spot oh i think i oh yeah i did okay boom boom there we go guys we're good um had to bring her in there so what i was saying was the mega knight and the hogger okay we got that so that should be okay as well i think i'm gonna go in right about now with a boom Again, that's why people love Mega Knight, right? So he could be back to his Inferno Tower. All right, so we're going to go in with the Baby Dragon here. I'm pretty sure he is. And we just need to take it out. So, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to go in right now because that's going to be Tower. That's, six Elixir on that is pretty expensive. And if he got that, it doesn't matter because it's going to go down. We have too much going on. Look at that. Healthy Hog Rider, Mega Knight. So I was saying, all, you had, all I had to worry about was the Inferno Tower. The E-Barbs were... He may have had to cycle, but that was not a good play. And now all we have to do is defend. That's what it, I keep talking about, defending, right? Those style decks. That's why they work. I'm telling you, okay? So we are going to put a little bit of pressure here opposite lane. He might try to rush something here. But we're going to get a Tesla down right here, which is super annoying. And we could have potentially made our opponent tap out. And you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Number one, it's a good deck. Number two, that's a lot of gold for Slash Royale. Let's go. I'm telling you, this deck is nasty. Boom. All right, guys, here is the deck. You guys know what time it is? Breakdown. All right, first battle, guys. What my opponent was doing here is not a bad thing, but not first play. Learn your opponent's deck before you try to anticipate. What he was doing with the log is thinking I had skeleton army and stuff like that. It could have worked, but in this case, it didn't. All right, so he dropped six elixir to my seven elixir Mega Knight. But at that disadvantage of one elixir, this counter pushing potential, which you'll see that I actually punish, was well worth it. All right, so don't do that. Just wait to see how I'm going to counter the Hog Rider. That's the number one reason why it's okay just to start with it right away, just to see how your opponent plays against it. So as you can see, here's a couple of things, right? I went ahead and counter pushed. He had his Valkyrie, which was obviously kind of, you know, distracting the Mega Knight and stuff, but he misplaced his Tesla. The Tesla should, in most cases, be placed right here. It could be a little bit higher up. If they have EQ, obviously you want to keep it out of spell ring, things like that. But typically, I think he panicked and that's what happened there. The other thing I want to point out is whenever you drop Hog Rider, whether by itself or on a counter push, it's always going to be these tiles, okay? I shouldn't say always. 99% of the time it is, right? Because sometimes if they misplace their building, it will bypass the building. And also, too, if you have a troop like a Mega Knight and then you're counter pushing with the Hog Rider, if you run him on the outside, it's always going to push the Hog Rider around the Mega Knight, which helps bypass the building. Now, some people will play the building here, which obviously would have pulled the Hog Rider and things like that. But but again, I think my man panicked, but just run the Hog Rider in those tiles, okay? It's definitely, it's definitely an important piece, especially in cycle decks. All right, so here... I want to point out a couple things. I cycled the the Musketeer here, right? But the, the main thing is I didn't have Tesla in cycle, but now I do. So we're good to go. And it was going to shut down that Hog Rider. Uh, but since I cycled the Musketeer, look how close she is to the Arena Tower. You want to kind of avoid that because if my man has Fireball, then he's going to get a lot of value. Tower damage and he's going to hurt my Musketeer. But the point is, is I've said this in all cycle decks. Protecting her is so important, and I just want to emphasize that big time, guys. Okay, so this was a prime example of it, and he has to answer that, right? And look at the damage we got going on. But he has to answer that with something, and at, this, at that point, I'm building my elixir up. So right here, he misplaced the Hog Rider once again. I did drop here, and I didn't know he had EQ. We'll see that later on, okay? But anyways, I knew that we were going to have that Musketeer marching down, and again, he did not place the Tesla in the right spot. The Hog Rider went around the Musketeer, and it got to the tower. Okay, so this was GG's, okay? Whether it's the Snowball, which why I like it, okay, the knockback and everything, or the Fireball. So I knew I was going to do this. I knew he was going to run Tesla. He's still running it in the wrong spot. I knew I was going to have Hog Rider on tower, and I wasn't 100% sure what he was going to use defensively, but he did drop the Valk. But notice the Fireball was so key. Not only does it get damage, okay? It takes care of the Tesla. It also knocks this uh, Valkyrie away from the Hog Rider, so it allows him to get more chip. I mean, she was going to target the Musketeer anyways. 
And again, it just it just basically spreads everything out and it gets that tower damage. Okay, this was GG's at this point. All right, guys, I only have this in for the simple reason of showing, remember to look at your starting rotation, okay? This is a very defensive rotation starting out with, right? I do have Hog Rider coming out next, so but in this case, I wanna be able to counter push. That is my main objective. If you start out with Hog Rider, you can obviously run him right away, see how your opponent defends, etc. But right here, I want my opponent to make the first move, right? Because I know I can easily defend against whatever he brings at me okay now if it goes on for a long time like 30 seconds in i mean there's a chance your opponent's playing a beat down style so they don't mind it going to double in that case you can cycle the baby dragon or the musketeer in the back safely all right but in this case just play defensive and you know by the battle my man dropped the e-barbs right here at the bridge six elixir and i completely shut it down with a mini counter push and the reason why I did include this is because two things, right? The E-Barbs would have taken out that Valkyrie, I'm pretty sure, because the Baby Dragon was splashing, and that would that would have been some pretty good damage there, and I didn't have the best cycle. I could have got the Snowball if I did some, but I, I was not in my rotation. Um, if it was, I probably wouldn't have dropped Baby Dragon because I could have just Snowballed the E-Barbs away, but I did have a mini counter push with the Baby D, okay? He actually let it go, if I'm not mistaken, but I knew with this, whatever he was deciding, I knew E-Barbs were one of his, it's not a win condition, I don't care what anyone says, you know, hoping you get that to the tower is not a viable way to win. Anyways, I knew I was going to be able to defend against that uh, with Valkyrie, Musketeer, Fireball, Snowballs, things like that. I just didn't know all of his cards at this point. I think he drops an Ice Wizard right about here for the Baby D, which I wasn't worried about. So here, that's the good thing about the Hog Rider, okay, is that you can, I didn't know he had Inferno Tower, obviously, right? So now I do. So in my head, I'm thinking, ah, Inferno Tower, you guys know I promoted that card in the earlier arenas, but it's, it's going to be a challenge, right? Because it is a huge counter to the Hog Rider. It's a little expensive, right? Better trade for me, but it also to the Mega Knight. So all I had to think in my head was like, that's all I have to be able to outcycle is that defense. Right here, I wanted to point out, I don't always like doing this, but sometimes you just have to. I think I might have had a Musketeer, then he dropped Princess, you know, probably at the same time. What I did was I dropped Snowball, so it would bring her forward, and one of two things was going to happen. The Musketeer would take her out, or the Arena Tower would as well. So I don't really like making that play, but I couldn't let him get that chip, and that's the reason why I did it. But look at his Inferno Tower, and all I'm thinking about now is, that at this point, this is key, I'm thinking he just played a card ago okay well you know how many more cards till he gets back to it right that's the card counting a little more of an advanced technique but that's what i'm thinking in my head right and that's what i'm trying to do i'm out like all i have to do is out cycle that and i'm good to go so right here this is why <laughs> this is why everyone does use the mega knight okay right here this is why he had a hog rider coming and then he surrounded the hog rider with the skeleton army <laughs> and that in that moment, I was cheesing in my head, okay? And again, why people use Mega Knight, because I just destroyed all of it. Remember that the Mega Knight is a counter-pushing card. At this point, I didn't have a lot that I can counter-push with, but I knew he was going to have to defend against this. And I was going to have great cards to defend his defense, all right? So that was the whole point. But that's, that's why everyone uses the Mega Knight, all right? Now, here is what I was saying. I, out, I, I wouldn't say I outcycled it because he was able to get it on the map, but I knew that the, it would be overwhelming pressure that he wouldn't be able to uh, handle it, okay? You have a baby dragon that's full health, you have a hog rider that's full health, and you have a mega knight that's half health. This will 100% go down and look at his elixir cost. He can't even drop anything. That tower is gone. So the last piece of advice I'm gonna say, and people forget to do this, all right? If you take a tower, I don't care how, or defend. All right, it's about if you win one to nothing, then that's fine, okay? It's about winning, that's it, and climbing, all right? Anyways, guys, hope you guys, again, enjoy all these, like, you know, breakdowns and things like that. I love doing them. You know, drop comments down below. Hope everyone is staying safe and doing well. Till the next video, guys, peace out.